Hi, Julie. Well, the Interfax Russian news agency is reporting the taxi driver is now telling Russian police he fell asleep behind the wheel, causing his car to go onto a busy sidewalk, mowing down pedestrians in the at Red Square in Moscow. Eight people are injured. Two of the injured are Mexican. The streets of Moscow are festive and packed with viewing parties and fans that are all there for the World Cup. These are photos from the scene, but video online is really just horrific, and we're efforting to get it. It shows the taxi driver coming to an almost complete stop before it swerves to its right, accelerating onto a sidewalk for five seconds, plowing into pedestrians. The car stops, two bystanders come to the window, and then the driver just runs out of the Cab as about a half a dozen pedestrians chase him in the streets of Moscow. The driver is a citizen of the former Soviet Republic of Kyrgyzstan, and he told police this was not intentional. Witnesses, well, they find that hard to believe. I have the feeling he did it deliberately because he was in the traffic jam with the cars going really slow. How can you lose control of the wheel, push the gas, and drive into the crowd? This incident comes just a day after the U.S. State Department issued a travel advisory urging Americans to reconsider traveling to Russia for the World Cup because of the heightened danger for terrorist attacks. The World Cup presents a large target. Russia has had a history of terrorist attacks from their neighbor Chechnya, and they are now involved in the civil war in Syria. More than 88,000 Americans have bought World Cup tickets. That's the second most of any nation, only behind the Russians. The State Department says Americans who are choosing to go to Russia need to be on alert because, quote, well, they say because, quote, due to the Russian government imposed reduction on U.S. diplomatic personnel in Russia, the U.S. government has reduced ability to provide services to U.S. citizens. Now, as for this taxi incident, the driver is detained. A criminal investigation is underway. He, sells, he says he fell asleep. Russian authorities are questioning him, and they're calling it a traffic accident. Julie. All right. Brian Yannis, thank you so much.